Okay, which blade is which? Alright champs, let's get rid of Windows Home and let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. New codes, new discount. You can get Windows Professional Office. Paste my code. Boom, it's Windows Pro time. One of these is the base model. One of them is the premium model with, you know, up to GTX 1070 Max-Q. And actually, they do come now with RX 2080s, or at least at the end of the month, they will be retrofitted with RTX graphics cards. So 2060, 2070, 2080 Max-Q graphics. Other than that, the new RTX model is pretty much exactly the same as the current model. I think they did tweak the sound in it, but really they're basically the same thing. So can you tell which one's which? Which one's the premium model? Which one is the base model? So anyway, let's first look at the boxes. Boom, here we go, boxes. Well, the premium model on the left there has the bigger box and the base model has the smaller box. The inside boxes are pretty much exactly the same. Now if we look at the power bricks, now you're going to know. I hope you wrote in the comments which one you think is which, but this will tell you straight away which one's which. And we can see here the premium model, which is on the right, has a 240 watt power supply, 230 watt power supply, sorry. It is bigger, braided cable too, okay, braided cable nice touch there and we have here on the base unit the base model 180 watt power supply there's no braided cables here okay now there also is a difference in the connector the premium model has this connector i don't know why they're different that's a bit strange the base model has your normal barrel connector I guess with the base model, you probably will be able to get this power supply connector anywhere. You know, any generic power supply should be able to supply this sort of barrel connector. What else have we got the differences? The display. Hmm. Which one looks better? They look pretty similar. Now, of course, this is a full HD 60 hertz. This is a 144 hertz display. Now, the next model of the Razer Blade will have up to 240 hertz, I believe, and OLED. But if you just look at them like that, I can't tell a big difference in brightness. They're both matte. Um, they both look pretty good. Yeah, if anything, the black's more, more blacker on the base model there. So, um, yeah, not much difference just looking at it on the surface, but of course, 144 hertz versus 60 hertz. Okay, keyboard and trackpad, they feel different. Certainly feel different. This keyboard does feel better. I don't know if that's just a better unit, but yeah, there is a little bit of difference in the feel of the trackpad and the keyboard. That may be just, you know, mass-produced variants, you know. Other than that, Looking on the top, you know, same power button, but look here at the hinge assembly. So this one here, you cannot see the hinge. It is hidden, whereas this one here, you can see the hinge on the base model. So it's a different assembly there of the hinge mechanism. Let's close them up. Can you see the difference in height there? Now the base model is thicker. You can see there, if I zoom out a bit, it is thicker. You can see it's a couple of mil thicker there. I'll write the exact specifications, but it's definitely thicker and heavier. Can does it feel heavier though? Yeah, it's hard to notice. It feels different to handle them, but. I wouldn't say there'll be a great deal of difference between the weights there and I haven't even actually checked them. I will put it on screen now but just feeling them in hand. This one feels bigger because it just is thicker. This one feels lighter just because it's thinner. I don't feel like weight wise. You know, it's just a difference in the handling rather than being a big difference in the weight. So if we look along the front here, we can see a status light on this one here. Status light on that one there. Let's turn them around to the right. So on the right hand side, they are exactly the same. Got exactly the same ports there 
I will check that they are in Thunderbolt 3 or maybe they've left Thunderbolt off that. I will check that. But the same layout imports. But again, you can see the thickness difference there. You know, the premium model is thinner. Around the back, there is a different hinge assembly, as I said before. So it does look completely different with the premium model looking. Yeah, just a bit different there. Now we go to the left hand side and this I found very strange. The base model has Ethernet and two USB 3.1s I assume and a headphone jack. This one here, no Ethernet. That's probably because it's thinner. They could fit the Ethernet on this one. They couldn't on this one. And there you can see the differences in the power. So yeah, you're getting a bonus of Ethernet on the base model there. And as you can see, looks exactly the same same sort of thing you know they are fingerprint magnets i will say you know the razor logo looks exactly the same so when it comes to cpus they're the same gpus this has a gtx 1070 max q you have a 1060 in this now this one of course is coming out with the rtx graphics as well very soon at the end of the month or the start of february so here you can see device manager the premium model has the GTX 1070 Max-Q and we have the GTX 1060 Max-Q. So obviously this is more powerful. It is thinner, but what about gaming performance? You know, because this is thinner, is this one better for cooling? We'll have to see. Obviously it's going to be faster, the premium model, because it does have, you know, GTX 1070 Max-Q, but we'll test out the thermals. Um, so make sure you subscribe to see that. We'll definitely see the differences between the two. Okay, so in the base model here we have a 65 watt hour battery and it's made by, um, who was it made by? Huh, manufacturer, Razor. So there you go. Cycle count it's not telling me, but if I go down here and we're getting around four-ish, five-ish hours in battery runs there. So you've got some, you know, nearly five hours on one of the battery runs five hours, something like that. Same down here, around four hours and 23 minutes for battery. On the uh, premium model here, we do have a bigger battery, 80 watt hour battery, same made by Razer. Uh, if we go down here to the battery runs, yeah, we're getting more, we're getting five, we're getting 11 hours. That would probably be um, a rundown test and we have a six hours here. So you're gonna get an extra two, three hours maybe battery life with the premium model because it has the bigger battery and the reason why is the base model has a two and a half inch hard drive that takes up battery space this one doesn't so if we look here at the fire strike scores we have 13,512 versus 9,935 so a big difference there in performance you would say you know this one will be able to play you know games over 100 frames per second you know depending on what settings you use some games you have to go to medium but you'll be able to achieve that 144 hertz display, it makes sense. You want to get those frames as high as possible. This one here, 60 hertz display, you don't have to get the frames as high as possible unless you're outputting to an external monitor. So this is perfectly fine, especially for content creation. This will be great for content creation because, you know, GTX 1060, same CPU on both. You know, this one really won't be that much faster in video editing. I've done tests where I've compared the 1050, 1060, 1070. There's not that much difference. It will depend on the video editor, but it's certainly in Premiere, there's not that much difference. So, you know, this one will be able to play, you know, the games at maximum detail, over 60 frames per second, pretty much every game. This one, yeah, it won't play every game at maximum detail, 60 frames, but most it probably will, you know, high, medium settings. They're both great for gaming. You know, you've got to pick your poison. This is a lot cheaper still get a great gaming experience um yeah that's what it is okay have a look inside you can instantly see the premium model has the big battery the big 80 watt hour battery and this one has the 65 watt hour battery is that what it is 65 watt hours yep 65 watt hours vapor chamber okay much more expensive um sort of like water cooling vapor chamber whatever you want to call it and this just has you know copper heat sink so big difference there in the cooling. Of course, this has a hard drive because it has the smaller battery. This one doesn't have a hard drive. Other than that, they seem very similar, the layout. And what is this? 
I assume this is the cable for the display here because it's 144 hertz. Might be wrong. I don't know. But um, wireless 926N, 60N. And we have here exactly the same. Different NVMe hard drives here. We only have a light on here. And on this one here we have a, um, what is this? Samsung, I believe. Yeah, it's a Samsung drive, so this does have a better NVMe drive. The RAM is the same, they are both Samsung modules. You know, much more expensive cooling on that. You know, bigger battery versus smaller battery, and this one has a mechanical hard drive, which of course you can put an SSD there. You only have one storage option with the premium model. So yeah, you know, if you want to put a lot of games on this, it's going to be very expensive to just, you know, buy a two terabyte or a terabyte, you know, NVMe drive versus, you know, a SATA SSD, which will cost peanuts. But of course, this does get better battery life and it should have better cooling with that vapor chamber. Time will only tell. I will have a video on that soon. Woo! So if we have a look at the displays again, if we have a look here, the color gamut is 87.5 sRGB on the premium model. And on the base model, which is the 60 hertz display, we have 78.8. Um, so it is less color accurate. Oh, sorry, less color gamut there. They're both very color accurate. But yeah, this one does have a wider color gamut. They're both accurate out of the box. And you can sort of see this in the, um, I'll just get rid of this. You can sort of see this in the green. It sort of pops more on this 144 hertz monitor of the premium model the green just pops more i don't know if you can see that just pops more on the premium model let's make sure we are 100 percent brightness yes we are now rgb keyboards on both of them but the premium model on the right the rgb looks brighter significantly brighter so i don't know if they have different rgb backlight for the keyboard but it's definitely brighter on the premium model on the right you'll see that it's overexposed and a little bit because it's really bright on the right one so yeah i think there is a better rgb backlight other than you know unit variations there could be a difference there